Oh, there we go, you're back now. Comcast! What a total pile of patooties. The stream has been brought to you by Comcast. We uh, literally stab people in their eyeballs when they ask us for help. Comcast. <laughs> Sorry, the music just kills me every time. This music's so music. Like, it's... it. I've never heard music that sounds this condescending, but Wally Bear does. I've never heard music described as condescending before. But this this music is condescending. <laughs> you are, you're not wrong. Yeah. Oh, please, never do that again. Um, I've, I've got a question for you, since you're uh, foolishly contemplating speedrunning this, or at least your mouth made noises that suggested you were doing that. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, mouth... not sure your brain, I'm not sure your brain had anything to do with... My mouth what... says a lot of things <laughs> that I don't necessarily agree with. <laughs> um... I'm I'm curious, like how many do you think a speedrun of this would avoid as many power ups as humanly possible? Or are there some that you would simply need to get for progression? Uh I would definitely get the speed and the frisbee. How many of those to get is another question. If you can get them in the way, you should. But the thing is, like for an optimized speedrun, one skateboard, one frisbee, you're good. Okay. You can make do with that. I'm just looking at this from sort of a speedrun perspective now and thinking about how rough it would be, but also how kind of entertaining it might be to route it. No, I'm not going to route it. Oh, come on. That's, that, that's, that's Join us. Join us. No, we've, we've, we've agreed. That's for you. We've agreed? Who agreed? I didn't agree. Everyone. Stream, have we all agreed that this is uh, a thing that Brocentra is going to speedrun? I mean, Brocentra said he wanted to speed. Uh-oh. Oh, so by the way, I found a little bit of the story for this game, because there are cutscenes, but we're skipping over them really quickly. Let me read this to you. Wally Bear needs to find all of his friends for the party at his parents' house, but he has an awful lot of obstacles to overcome. Riding a, riding a skateboard through the streets, he must dodge dive-bombing pigeons, rabid bulldogs, and anthropomorphic animals who want to get him hooked on drugs and jumped into a gang. Worst of all, he's got to beat the curfew as well. Wait, so curfew is worse than drugs and gangs. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to see the priorities here. I mean, let's let's be fair. If if you uh, if you have a curfew, then you can't do the drugs in a gang. It's true. But uh, bro, I, I I feel I should point out to you that after I asked, um, oh, is is Comcast happening again? Comcast is happening again. Oh okay. my gosh, are you serious? Oh, it's Apparently, back. Stream, it's back. Stream stream is saying Comcast a lot now. Okay. <laughs> But no, I, I like that uh, you went off to read the manual immediately after I asked uh, the stream whether you should speedrun this, just so that you didn't have to look at them all saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I... Faizu. Faizu, come on. Rosentia. There's some promises that should not be kept. By the way, I do want to say that the company that made Wally Bear and the No Gang, this was... Uh... Sorry, I'm losing my mind now. Uh, this was their last game. Their first game, as opposed to Wally Bear and the No Gang, is called Death Race. <laughs> 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 Inspired by the Silver or Sylvester Stallone movie Death Race 2000, released 15 years before they made the game. The object of the game is to run down innocent pedestrians in your souped-up automatic or er, automotive Grim Reaper. <laughs> 
So they're like, Wally Bear and the No Gang, don't do drugs, you know, and, uh, you know, don't join a don't gang. Do but you don't, can don't, run don't. down people in a car, you know. Don't do fine. drugs, but 200 bonus points if you run over an elderly person. Yeah. Each race consists of capturing a flag and finding the exit door, all while squishing or gunning down as many people on foot as possible, while avoiding helicopters and heat-seeking missiles that are actively trying to discourage this unique hobby. And then if you run out of time, you just get blown up by tons of missiles. To indicate that the just race like is over. <laughs> Just, just like in, just like in real life. Just like then. in real life, yeah. So, I feel like I, this company. I think, I think that would make like school sports day so much more interesting. <laughs> Possibly, it, it seems like this company embraces the duality of man. To be honest, because we've got both. I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. We, we've got, you know, the the loving care that is Wally Bear, and then we've got the death mobile, the Grim Reaper that is this company, the Death Race or whatever it's called. So here are the different enemies in this game. Ricky Rat. Ricky Rat and his rat, pl rat pack plague the subways. Oh, wow. They don't like anyone trying to move in on their turf. There's also Larry Lizard, cold-blooded to the bone, the sewer dweller, will stop at nothing to humil humiliate Wally or his friends. I'm having a hard time talking. There's also Willard Weasel. They don't even call him Willie. It's Willard. There's no uh, telling... He, he, he hates being... You've got to call him Willard. He's My so name's cool. Willard. Really Nerd. There's no telling whether this fur-faced freak is going to strike next, but you can bet he's got some dirty tricks planned for Wally. Oh boy, there are also Slippery Serpent's Bad Dog. Bats, Toxic Waste, Bombs, and Birds of Prey. So we've got a whole gamut of stuff. Oh, there are also helpful hints. Helpful items are not always in plain view. Sometimes things are hidden on top of buildings or trees. Okay, we've got that idea. You may see a item that you cannot jump up to get. Find another skateboard. It will give you the extra speed that you need. That's, okay. that's a really long-winded way of saying skateboards let you move faster and jump higher. Essentially. By the way, I didn't give them the manual, but yeah, that works. I uh, don't deserve the manual. <laughs> Three, when you explore the parking structure, unless you have at least one extra skateboard, you will not be able to jump up to the next level. <laughs> what? You just can't go up if you're in the parking structure. <laughs> Which, the, to be fair, the exit is further down, but that feels really discouraging right there. Okay, although you are timed, don't be in too much of a hurry. Think about your next move and take your time. That's encouraging. That's, that's... Actually, possibly really good advice for the sewer, certainly. Yeah. This music is... I don't know, I think it's it's kind of boring into my brain. I hate it. It's, it's... I don't know, I wouldn't even say it's bad, necessarily, it's it's just kind of digging its way in like a horrible little word. There's some part of every note that just feels a little bit off, and yeah, it's condescending. Uh, you are free to spoil things unless you think that it's going to be funny when we see something terrible. By the way, someone, 3255, is onto the sewer. It's it's like it's yeah it's like it's just no! slightly off key somehow and and yeah you are you we don't have the no spoilers rule in here anymore but uh, there are some things that shouldn't be mentioned if they're going to be hilarious when people see them for the first time. Yep, I agree. Which is why I'm not talking too much about what's to come after sewer one. 
So how many sewer stages are there? I don't remember. There are some. There are a few. Too many? Yeah, Too many. I. that's why I think we're gonna not see people beat the sewer, honestly. Like, we've had one time where somebody was able to beat the sewer, and I was shocked. Contestants do occasionally get further than I genuinely expect them. Yeah, and that could happen. By the way, someone, 3255, is making some solid progress here. Taking a little bit of damage. I think they lost their speed upgrade. Not a huge deal since they still have a projectile. And you can just duck. No matter where you are, it seems like you can duck and avoid the bats from hitting you. That is... I don't even know if that's intentional. I... That just seems like the stupidest thing. Honestly, it's extremely helpful just to know you can avoid damage from these swooping enemies. Okay, I think someone is down to one hit until death, but they're making solid progress in the sewer. Oh my gosh, all the bats! There's so many bats! Oh, and someone is almost on to the next section of the sewer. There we are, can you get in there? There we go! <laughs> oh, boy! But someone is in the lead! <laughs> wow, that is awful. It's so bad. That, that's like, well done, you've made it to the end of the stage go through this door and oh now now pain absolute yeah pain. not only do you have to do platforming across the pillars and you have skateboard physics but there are faces shooting at you the entire time i think that that level is just basically the game developers laughing at you essentially well, it's uh, it's a it's, it's a metaphor for drugs <laughs> well that's not very nice no i mean it, you know it might be. It, it's, I mean, screaming faces on a wall shooting things at you does sound like something that might be uh, uh, narcotic or psychedelic in you. You know, I'm just trying to think. Couldn't the parents have gone to gather the friends up? If it's a party, why does he have to go get his friends? It's like, hey, Wally Bear, it's your birthday. I hope you enjoy dying. That's our greatest oh. gift. He, he has to go and get his friends, because if he doesn't, they will wind up doing all the drugs and joining gangs along the way. Oh shoot, you're right. We don't want that. Crossbow. I like the advertisement for crossbow. Was Sh Shockwave one of their games? Uh, let me check. I feel like it might that have been. That, that poster or banner or whatever it is on the subway looks suspiciously like an advert for a brand of chewing gum or something like that. It does. Uh, yeah, they made Shockwave, Chiller, and Death Race, as well as Wally Bear. Shockwave by far sounds like the least offensive of those three. Uh, you collect crystals. Wow, whoop de doo Wait, Chiller? What? Chiller? chiller. Oh they, my they gosh. Made, they made Chiller? Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay. I see I see looks. limbs chopped off. What yeah, is forget, this? Forget it's a it's a light gun game, uh, where you dismember everything. I see Chiller is one of the most horrific games of its of the period. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, I see so much blood! There are heads on a shelf. I see this woman's Look, rib cage. Yeah. Chiller, Chiller is a game that <laughs> would be suitable for Cuso Grande, except that it is absolutely not suitable for Cuso oh, Grande. Oh my gosh! Oh my like gosh! It, and they made Wally as a, Bear! <laughs> as, as a game, it would be perfect for Cuso Grande if it wasn't for, you know, everything about the aesthetic. So that's probably why they don't have the name Chiller show up in the subway. <laughs> or Death Race. <laughs> Say no to drugs, but get your parents to buy you chiller. 
You'll love it, children. You know, decap... It's like the real decap attack. <laughs> Stream hat man taking another death. The sewers are so hard, though. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh no, apparently we have people here who have played Chiller. I've played Chiller. You have? Yeah. I'm from Utah, we only played Carmageddon. <laughs> and this explains your problem with trains. Choo choo! Okay, Stream Hat Man taking it slow. Good choice. I don't think he knows the duck trick around the bats, though. Oh, no! Does that... Into the water. Does ducking only work for flying enemies, or does it make you immune to all damage? I think it's just flying. But it might prevent damage from drips. I'd have to try. Oh my gosh. The I'm just, lag. I'm just it, it seems like one of those things that, uh, you know, it's, it's meant to be like, okay, if you're ducking, then the the flying enemies can't hit you, except that they made it so that they can go low enough to hit you anyway, because they're bad at making games. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it seems like it could be a useful temporary invincibility button. I'd be surprised if it works on everything, but it seems like the sort of thing that they should probably test. True. Now, so people know, I believe we had the Strange Face Temple in one of the gauntlets for Cusa Grande back in the day. Uh, so, and... They were able to beat it from what I remember, it just... Uh, is really difficult, and... I, I don't know if anybody's gonna beat it during this match. It's really difficult. So is this the point where you think we've seen probably all of the progress that we're likely to see? I think so, yeah. I mean, real progress, not progressing slightly through that section. Yes. Now, someone is back. The thing is, I think someone has a really good chance of actually making some significant progress here because he knows the duck trick. Okay, the duck trick just makes it sound weird. Wah, 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 wah. Exactly. It, it makes me think. Every time I hear you say the duck trick, I don't think in No, terms you crouching, can't I think drip under adult. drops. The drops still hurt you. Okay, so it is indeed just flying enemies that ducking makes you immune to. Yeah, it seems like it. We've learned something today, Brosentia. Good. We've learned that if you're crouching, things that fly can't hurt you. And also that you should say no to drugs, and not even adults should drink and drive. Not even that your is, grandma. That is just one of the weirdest things I've seen, even in this game. Um, what? That part of the cutscene where he he's talking about drinking and driving, and he says something like, he, he says, not even adults should drink and drive, and it's like, well, adults are the only ones who should drive, let alone anything else. Whatever, you don't trust Wally Bear to drive? Uh, I don't trust Wally Bear to tie his own shoelaces. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Meaning... <laughs> Wally Bear has gone to the bad part of town. Uh, he has made some very questionable life decisions. His in terms parents of sent route. him there. Okay. In, in terms of the route he has taken to find his... Oh, someone, no! That is death. Oh, it's like seriously I think I've woken up in the morning and had this music in my head multiple <laughs> times in my life I suspect I'm going to wake up in the morning with this music playing in my brain I suspect I'm going to fall asleep with this music playing in my brain I'm going to dream about this music and in around about five years or so I will have clawed musical notes on a wall and will be found in an asylum humming this music Oh, 
By the way, the manual actually does say the dive do the dive bombing birds don't like anyone. The best way to avoid them is d to duck down when you see them coming. And then for bats, stay low to keep these flying vermin out of your hair. So the manual actually does give hints about how to avoid damage. Does he have hair or does he have fur? It's fur. Well, in that case, that advice is irrelevant to him, isn't it? He doesn't need to keep the bats out of his hair. He hasn't got it. Keep them out of his hat, at least. Yeah, I could see those bats trying to steal his hat. You can't trust bats around. Yeah, and they'd like look really, and really sunk. cool like that. Can imagine just a bat flying around, cool hat on, sunglasses, be like, yeah, kiki. I really like bats. Bats back are where cute. I, They're so back cute. Where I, back where I used to live, there was a, a bridge right... Uh, I was going to say right next door, but that's not strictly true. Close by, shall we say, and uh, loads of bats kind of nested or roosted, whatever the term is, under there. Um, but I remember one morning, just as the sun was coming up, I went out my front door and there was one uh, in the porch hanging upside down. Um, it was a really bad idea for it to actually be there, because, you know, the sun was coming up and that was not a good place to take shelter. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, it was interesting just seeing a bat kind of roosting upside down on the porch um, at four o'clock in the morning. So I've been getting stressed out watching Jakaza because they're almost to the faces of evil. That's why I was I was telling you a, a story about a delightful little bat. Aww. I, bats are cute. I'm... Bats are totally cute. Someone, by the way, is currently in first because they have made it to the faces of evil. Jakuzum got pretty close just now, but unfortunately wasn't quite able to make it. Did someone else make it to the faces of evil? No. Okay. I thought someone had. Yeah. I may just. Maybe. I may just go and say. I mean, it is this condescending music. You're the stupid Wally Bear. Nobody will attend your party. They don't love you. Yeah. How bad must his party be if he actually has to go and drag his friends to it? Yeah. Well, couldn't he just tell them? Like, at school, or something? You'd think so. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that uh, they all, you know, he said, hey, do you want to come to my party? And they said no. As that does seem to be the overriding theme of this game. So he's going around throwing frisbees at their faces. Come to my party or die. <laughs> okay, Wally Bear! <laughs> Calm down! Exactly, they, they all said no, and now he's going to drag them to his party. Whether they like it or not. I feel like they did something called Crossbow because it's got a trademark under it as well. I'm gonna take a look and see if I can find this. Yeah, Crossbow was the unreleased light gun game that they made, apparently. Um, oh. Uh, which there is there is no existing prototype. That's or fine. Nobody, nobody has found any prototype of it. Oh my gosh. Ah, this company, they're giving me such mixed messages, okay? What, because of this and Chilla? Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, apparently the guy who worked here, Richard Frick, worked for Tengen. And then he left to form his own company, American Video Entertainment. American Video Entertainment. What did they make? Tengen is a name that I know well, but... Uh... Let's see... Mermaids of Atlantis? Impossible Mission 2? Uh, Dudes with Attitude. Oh, I actually own that one. Uh, yeah, that's not a good game. <laughs> it's a puzzle game, but it's kind of dumb. Dudes? Dudes with Attitude is a puzzle game developed and published by American Video Entertainment. The player controls a face-like character <laughs> called a dude or dudette. 
<laughs> yeah. It's true. Uh, and you just bounce around. Like, it's like when Kirby becomes a ball, except you can't control yourself. You're... There's no stopping. You just bounce everywhere. Because you're oh, a dude. God, I, I, I just... I just discovered one of the games which you mentioned was the, uh... Uh, Mermaids of Atlantis. You you mentioned that, yes. Yeah. That's that's no that's the, someone. Uh, Mermaids of Atlantis is the clean version of a very unclean NES game, shall we say? Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Hey, Street Hatman is back to the street. Back to Detroit here. It's only yes, a select that suburbs is, is of Detroit, not all of Detroit, okay? Just a little bit looks like this. I, I wasn't going to mention the specific name, Mike, but yes, that is the game. Uh, is it, I, I always get confused, this is probably because I'm, I'm British and so I conflate American cities, but I always get confused between Chicago and Detroit. I always tend to think of them as very similar cities for whatever reason. Is this I, wrong and silly of me? I don't think they're too different, personally, but I've never been to Detroit. Have you been to Chicago? Uh, years and years ago, yes. And they have the Museum of Natural History, which is where you're trying to get to in We're Back, a dinosaur story, and that's dumb. The fact that the ultimate goal of We're Back is to get to Chicago is kind of a whole disappointment, let me just say. I mean, I, I I was kind of expecting you to say that the Museum of Natural History was a place you were banned from going as a child, but... Yeah, Chicago... I would say there are probably bad areas of Chicago, just like uh, there are bad areas of Detroit. Detroit's areas are just kind of a lot worse! Well, there are bad areas, areas of... Bad areas of, of every city, but I don't know, it's, it's just one of those things where I tend to think of... For whatever reason, and it's probably a media thing as much as anything, I tend to think of both Chicago and Detroit as kind of gritty urban locations. Someone um, is on to the faces of evil here, making some good progress. Now, door number one is not the door you want, and that's a death. Uh, oh my I god, have... there are... This, this is what you meant by door maze. There are specific... There is just a specific door that they have to go through. Uh, yep. Can they go through the other doors? Nope. Oh my god, and they don't even get put back to the start of the Faces of Evil section. They have to go through the entire sewer bit again. Yep. Oh wow, this game is cruel. This game, like, it's all fun and games until you hit the sewers, and then it's just crap, crap, crap. Well, that is usually what happens when you're in the sewer. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's true. That's fair enough. Oh, I do have somebody, there was somebody who was from Detroit who was talking to me, and she's like, yeah, as a kid, you know, uh, I think it was every Halloween, they'd, we'd go and burn down the crack houses, and I'm like, wait, what? And she's like, yeah, we literally would go and burn them down, you know, I thought that was what you normally did <laughs> for Halloween. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, different upbringings. Slightly, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, I feel kind of bad for bringing up the, the whole, uh, you know, urban decay thing, but, uh, let's, let's move on to talking about... Yeah, yeah, besides burning down houses, you know, there's a lot more to talk about with Wally there. <laughs> oh, actually. Geez. Speaking, yeah. of, speaking of sewers in general, how many games can you think of that actually have good sewer levels? Good sewer levels? Yep. Or at least tolerable ones. Like, I can't recall any that I particularly enjoy. Oh, I'm someone taking another death. Hey, Sichuan has the chance of making some progress here. Like, 
I, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has some decent sewer levels, I'd say. Mm, kind of. <laughs> kind of. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. I remember there was one game which has a sewer level fairly early on. It was a recent game. Or recent-ish, because I can remember I reviewed it, and I was stunned, because it not only has a sewer level fairly early on, but the sewer level is both not actually that bad, and it's really short. Ooh. You know, Sunday Funday has alright sewers in it, I would say. Sunday Funday doesn't have alright anything. I mean, compared to the rest of the game, the sewers are pretty, pretty <laughs> good. Actually, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, Turtles in Time definitely has okay sewers. I feel like Turtles in Time almost doesn't count. If only because that's kind of... Uh, the, the sewer gameplay is basically the same as the rest of the game. Or is the sewer gameplay one of the bits where you're on hoverboards or surfing? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it seems like you're on... It's an auto-scroller section, which makes it a little bit more tolerable. Okay, I'll I'll allow that one then. Oh wait wait wait! What about that game? Uh, the rollerblading one where you're rollerblading and fighting people. Ugh, because that has a sewer level. I wouldn't say that's necessarily better than the rest of the game. Roller games, yeah, that's it. Roller games. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is uh, is is disqualified from this by virtue of having a really stupid name. I hate this I music. I, I hate I've it. I've never actually played roller games. I've you seen should. people play roller games. It's actually never... really fun. Ooh, stream hat man. Dying from the birds. Unfortunately, they just don't know how to avoid the birds still. Whereas someone and Jakuzam have both figured that out. I think Szechuan Steve has as well. Gas? Anybody wants to want to buy some generic gas? No, I only buy uh, uh, Couture gas. Not name brand. Gas. Yeah, get your name brand gasoline. Probably made like in the oil wells of uh, Indonesia or something, you know. High up in the mountains there. It's natural spring oil. I've decided to make a terrible decision for essentially. Uh oh. You won't think it's a terrible decision, admittedly. Oh good. <laughs> I like to hear these things. What what's your decision? I've just decided that I'm, I'm going to fire up Wally Bear and the No Gang for myself, and uh, just just so that I can see if I have actually played this before and how the controls are and all the other exciting things like that. Yeah, it's... well, you're on a skateboard, so it's definitely slippery. Uh, sometimes there's just issues with momentum in this game that can cause you to die. Like Jakuzum right there. They unfortunately just went into the pit. Oh my gosh. I mean, early on, this doesn't actually seem like a bad game. I mean, it doesn't look like a bad game, but it, it doesn't play like a bad game for the first stage or so. It's slightly janky, but that's about it. Yeah. Jack is on there currently going through the sewer, doing their best to make progress here. Honestly, now they just picked up a skateboard upgrade, which makes them move a lot faster horizontally. That is both a blessing and a curse. Because if you're not used to moving fast, you're probably going to get hurt. I think they actually did take damage and lost that skateboard upgrade. Yep, and there they go, dying. Yeah, Wally Bear somehow has become one of the more popular weird NES games, I'd say. 
I think it's kind of along the same lines as jank, like Sunday fun day. It's, it's one of those ones that's just kind of weird and so people know about it. It's kind of gained uh, not a cult following per se, but people have gained awareness of it. Yeah, I don't think very many people are going out of their way to play Wally Bear, but they know of it. Apparently I've gone out of my way to play Wally Bear. <laughs> but then I, I make a lot of very poor life decisions. Jack is on. Dodged a little bit too late. I would just reset, frankly. Yeah, apparently it does have a two player mode. My guess is that for two player, is that one person plays and then when you die, the other person plays. And guess what? It's just like. It's boring. Nobody wants to play two player that way. That, that would be my guess. I wonder if uh, I wonder if level progress carries on in two player. Like if one person makes it to the end of stage one and then dies in stage two, does player two start at stage one or stage two? You see, it that'd be awesome. Way. It could be an interesting way of, of getting double lives. It's probably not going to do that, but yeah, that would be great. Stream Hatman onto the subway. By the way, someone is getting close to the faces of evil again. I... The sewers are basically pure evil, so we're not expecting them to get any further than that anyway. Yeah, the game's not super long. Honestly, uh, when I've played this, it always felt like when I was playing the earlier stages, it was just me being angry and wanting to get back to the sewers to give them another attempt. <laughs> that was kind of the way of a lot of the old Oh games. no, someone! It's okay, one life left. By the way, one life means no extra lives in this game. That's, 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 that's what one life usually means, yes, bro, Sancho. Well, no. In video games, sometimes you go to zero lives. And that's True, the way it should if, always if, be. If, if you say that you have one life left, it implies that you are on your final life. Yeah, but every... I don't know. I don't know. I, I know what you, you mean, that the, the lives counter is showing that they have won. I, at least I think that's what you mean. Yeah. I've kind of given up on trying to figure out what you mean, honestly. But. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Szechuan Steve is on to the easier part of the sewer. Just gotta not take damage from the bats. Well. <laughs> That bat just comboed him. Commentator's curse. Oh yeah. All he has to do is not do this one thing, which, now that I've said it, will immediately be done. Yep. That's K. Okay. We live for the commentator curse. We pretty much do. No! Szechuan Steve! The drip! To be fair, I think that if it's a drip in a sewer, it can hurt you. Like, that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, because, I mean, what if it gets in your mouth? I would have a panic attack, like, right there. I'm not even I kidding you. I, I would be taking the rest of the week off, cancel all my plans, and I would hide. I would hide because I know the sewage is out there. It's out there to get me. <laughs> And it's in your mouth. Ew! No! No, it's not! It's not in my mouth! Uh, it might be if you're looking upwards while you're in a sewer. <laughs> no, Faizu! Don't tell me these things! I don't need to it know. Be, it, it could be worse. You could be looking upwards, expecting drips, and then this makes you trip over something, and you go face first into the sewer, and it gets in your mouth that way. You can always stop talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay.
Okay. Okay, Sichuan Steve is past the hardest parts of the sewer. Just don't get hit. I'm I'm kind of enjoying playing this game. <laughs> it, it's not a good game, but it's playable. But then I haven't reached the sewer. It's got yet. a strange charm to it, is what I'd say. Like I I really enjoy this game. Oh no, the snake! Szechuan Steve. Like, that's why I always end up giving it out at some point. There we go, Stream Hatman is on to the sewer. Szechuan Steve on their last live. This is really everybody's final push. And from what I understand, someone has made the most progress in the sewers. Stream Hatman just needs to get through this and not die. I really love someone's name just because of how confusing it makes commentary. I know, right? S someone has made the most progress. No! Stream Hat Man! That jump is so tricky. Those sewers look awful. Uh, they are awful. This is easily the worst part of the game. The the two or three sewer rooms that you have. So how much more of the game is there after the sewers? Uh, one or two stages, and that's it. And they're not nearly so difficult as the sewers. Oh no. Easy pizzy. Easy pizzy? <laughs> Easy peasy, comparatively. Easy it pizzy. Jackazam is making solid progress in the sewer. No! Unfortunately got sniped by a lizard. Stream Hetman got a skateboard but immediately lost it due to the bat. That that tends to be what happens with upgrades in the sewers. You grab it, you lose it. Do you want the upgrades in the sewers, well, things like the skateboard at least, because they make it easier to progress, or just because they give you an extra hit? Both. Ooh, Stream Hat Man made it to the lizard there. I think that might have been a solid push from them that may have moved them up in place. I'm not 100% sure. It really... oh my gosh, I have no idea. I know someone is in first place. And I don't someone mean just any place. someone. Someone <laughs> 3255 is in first place. A, a, a very special someone is in first place. The most special of someones. Okay, someone is back to the faces. We're under a minute left. Stream Hatman just trying to make one last push. This could make a difference for them. Someone is almost to the door. There's the door. Nope, they went past it. Can you go through the other doors? Not the other doors, just this one. There's only one door you can go through. Yep. Okay, well, so it's it's a really weird kind of door maze where all oh of the doors gosh. are secretly just painted on. Except for the last one there. And then, because it still appears closed, it's very easy to think, oh, I don't go through that. It still is a maze because they don't know that they can go through it. <laughs> I call it a maze. Mazes don't have to be hard. Or have twists and turns, you know, they can just be one straight hallway. That's a maze. It's a maze to somebody, okay? Well, we... <laughs> we hit time! That is it! We're done! We're done with Wally Bear and the No Gang, they are free! That was intense, Pfizer. Um, GB contestants. 
For yeah, sure. That was, uh, that was definitely a video game. Oh, yeah. For sure, someone3255 took the victory today, making the most progress into the sewers. I wasn't surprised at all that nobody beat the faces of evil, but, you know, that that's just what happens in Wally Bear. We, uh, we, as nearly, for... we nearly had someone beat the faces of evil, though. It was just defeated by Door Lodge. Yep. The doors. It's always the doors, Fizu. I mean, basically every other thing in the game that you can go into uh, has a flashing arrow in front of it, but not that Yes, we're going to see if someone wants to join chat. If so, we'll go ahead and chat with them. I'm checking right now. So yeah, what did you learn from this fight? Actually, let me drag someone in real quick. You, you don't want to know what I learned from this, Brosentia. Hello, someone! Hey. Hey, how'd it go? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's have, about have, right. Have, have you learned to say no? Uh, well, I learned to say no to sewers. Oh, uh, yeah. It. That's That's a very wise decision. Yeah, yeah sewers are absolutely dumb. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, one thing I figured out is that if you just hold down, then the birds can't hit you for some reason. Yep, that makes a huge difference, especially with the bats in the sewer. See, Pfizer, I told you bats are just birds. <laughs> you, you have mentioned before that bats are birds, yes. Bats are birds. If you duck, but the bats also, don't get you. You also mentioned that you like bats, whereas you don't like birds. It depends on the bird. If it's a bat, then I like it. <laughs> yeah, bats are cool. <laughs> so, what are your what are your opinions about the game? You love it, you hate it, you're somewhere in between, you're never gonna play it again. Uh, how many stages are there? I'm curious. It's not very long after the sewer that you beat the game, to be honest. Okay. It might be a good, like, weird run game if you can figure out sewers. I don't know. So, in that last room... What am I supposed to do? In the last room there, you saw there were two doors. One of them, you can't go through the middle one, but the last door, even though it looks exactly the same, you can go through it. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, I tried, yeah, I tried entering the first door and then tried going all the way to the right and neither worked. Yeah. Oh, well. So it's difficult for us to know who's in second, third, and fourth. We're likely going to figure it out a little bit later just because we need to go check VODs. Everybody got to the sewers, though. And that's, like, where the difficulty just goes through the roof. It's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> the, game is, the, the game is playable, and then sewers happen, which is kind of like a lot of other games, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, so we also discovered that the makers of Wally Bear and the No Gang made some really <laughs> violent video games. <laughs> like, extremely violent, like decapitation and <laughs> blood well, everywhere. So, like. Dismemberment, it's, gore. It's just horror. strange that this game was made by that company. So, was that before or after the FBI wanted them to make Before. Oh, wow. Well. Before, they made all of these hyper-violent games, and then they're like, well, we'll go ahead and do a no-drugs game. You know, I actually like they... some of the music in the game, though. But, really? Yeah. Like, the title screen has good music, <laughs> uh, and uh, one of the stages has pretty good music. That's about it. Yeah, it seems pretty alright. Well, you know oh, what? The music seems like it's slightly off-key. It's it's just... Unsettling. Some of it does, yeah. So, I want to say congratulations for taking the victory. You will be facing other people who took first in your next match, so a little bit tougher challenge coming up, uh, All right. depending on who is there. Other people will also be going and facing second... People who took second place will likely be facing people who took second place as well, so... Uh, yeah, it 
is going to get a little bit tough. But this is your first Cusa Grande, I believe, and you did fantastic. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Looking forward to the next matches and the rest of this. Absolutely. Congratulations. Getting a first in Cusa Grande is uh, no small feat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have lost plenty of matches myself. And I, I put on the tournament. I can't even fix it for myself. <laughs> I try so hard, Pfizer. <laughs> That's, that's just because you're generally bad at things, Bruce. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mr. Drama Llama over here. Okay, well, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and raid Gilder. He's currently playing, uh, playing the open beta for the new Trials game that's going to be coming out. Do we have a good raid message? We can say, just say no. Hmm. Please insert another disc. Oh, I kind of like that. And Say no to hurts. Yeah, Stream Hatman is not. We'll do. Please insert other disc. There we go. Go tell Gilder to insert the other disc, and I will catch you all later on, for sure on Sunday, possibly tomorrow, depending on how I'm feeling. Take it easy, and thank you again, someone and Faizu. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. And congratulations. See ya.